Hi, I'm Isabel Sanchez and I've got this week edition of the Q's Cast. Final exams continue this week, which means many of your fellow students are still busy preparing for those all-important tests. A reminder that both Carnegie and Bird Libraries are open 24 hours this week if you need resource materials or a quiet place to study or write. The SU Libraries website has the details located right on their homepage. Of course, this upcoming weekend will be marked by convocation ceremonies in our schools and colleges and university-wide commencement ceremonies that take place on Sunday, which is also Mother's Day. This year's commencement speaker is Vernon Jordan, the well-known civil rights activist, business executive and attorney, who also served on the presidential transition team for Bill Clinton. Commencement takes place Sunday morning at the Dome. A powerful display on the Quad recently to recognize Sexual Assault Awareness Month, which is April. As part of this effort, the It's On Us student volunteers, ROTC cadets, Chancellor's Task Force on Sexual and Relationship Violence members, and the Office of Health Promotion, peer educators and staff installed the It's On Us SU visual display on the Quad to share statistics and facts about the intersection of alcohol and sexual violence through a moving visual display. And talented students from the College of Visual and Performing Arts put their acting, dancing and singing skills on display over the weekend at the Arthur Storch Theatre at Syracuse Stage. It was all part of the Lewis Hecker Showcase. These are students who are in the acting and musical theatre programs at VPA. <laughs> And don't forget, for the latest Syracuse University news, even over the summer, check news.syr.edu. Isabel Sanchez, Syracuse University News.